Hello, sports fans. All right, now we've uh, we've learned about the beginning of the search for the molecule that controls our genes. And if you remember, this fellow, Frederick Griffith, was the man who began the whole process. He uh, was the one, one that first realized. And through his experiment, he, uh, Frederick Griffith, figured out that uh, genetic material moved from one organism to another. Um, that specifically, bacteria could incorporate that genetic material that's just floating loose in the cytoplasm and put it in their own genetic material and all of a sudden be transformed into something else. Um, and, and, and since it transformed that one molecule into another, they called that transformation. Okay? So transformation was that idea that genetic material could go from one cell to another. Um, and Griffith showed that with, if you remember, this streptococcus bacteria. And there was a strain that was harmless, a strain that would kill you. And he showed that when you put the dead strain that could kill you in with the live strain that did not hurt you, when you mixed them, you ended up getting this bacteria that would kill you again, and uh, it killed the mice, and that's what uh, transformation is, okay? Okay, so what we're going to talk about today, though, is a different experiment. So we've got uh, Griffith's gone, we've got our streptococcus bacteria, and we know that it, uh, that what this did, that this showed us transformation. Well, a few years later, and specifically, 44, um, that was the year this happened. So if you remember, uh, Griffith's experiment happened in 1928. So this was many years later. And, you know, you got to think things like the Great Depression happened here. That's probably hampered research. World War II happened here. It was ending about this time, but that hampered research. So this is one reason it took so long to go from our first experiment to our second. 1928 was the first. 1944 was the second. And this guy's name is Oswald Avery. Oswald Avery. And what he was specifically looking for was he was trying to figure out, okay, Griffith said that there was some molecule that allowed transformation to happen. What was that molecule? That's what he wanted to know. So what he did was he took uh, this streptococcus and he examined it and figured out all the molecules that made a streptococcus bacteria. And it turns out that there were five main ones. There were some smaller ones, and he worked with those. But we're going to focus on five main ones. So the five main ones that made um, that made Streptococcus uh, were lipids, okay, proteins, uh, RNA. Get this stuff out of the way. DNA. And carbohydrates. And so they figured that one of these five molecules had to be the one that carried the genetic information. But they did not know which one carried the genetic information. Okay? Avery thought that proteins were probably the one that carried it. And everybody thought it. Because proteins are really complicated and they have, they're big. And so they thought, well, this is the thing that's going to carry all the information. Uh, you know, I'm not sure why they didn't think lipids. They thought RNA and DNA were too simple. Carbohydrates, I think they probably thought were too simple also. But they really thought it was proteins that carried all the information. But what he was trying to do is, in spite of his kind of assumptions, he wanted to prove it. And so he had to figure out a way to see if uh, transformation would still happen if he took one of these out. So if he took carbohydrates away, would transformation still happen? Okay, um, and so you had to have a way to get rid of carbohydrates but leave everything else alone, or to get rid of DNA but leave everything else alone, or get rid of RNA but leave everything else alone. And so he decided to uh, to use a molecule, well, a, a, a group of molecules called enzymes. And enzymes uh, are things that uh, make chemical reactions happen. And this particular group of enzyme were enzymes that would break apart something. And we knew that they were that because they ended with the word ACE. That's how you can tell it's an enzyme, especially an enzyme that maybe breaks apart something, is ACE. So lactase would be an enzyme that breaks apart milk sugars, so forth like that. Okay? So to do that, you know, it's real simple. You just have lipid and then um, 
you um, you add the word ACE to the end. Lipidase, that's the enzyme that takes lipids out of the mixture. Okay? So that's, that's really what he did. He, uh, he started the first experiment. He used lipidase, and that took lipids away, and that left proteins, RNA, DNA, and carbohydrates, and he put all of that into a syringe, shot it into a mouse, just like before, um, and it ended up killing the mouse. Transformation still happened, okay? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch that first video again. But transformation still happened when he took the lipid away, okay? So he puts the lipid back, takes the lipid away, and this time, um, this time he adds protein, ACE, and this is our new enzyme, and this one takes protein away, okay? So he takes protein away, he still has lipids, still has RNA, still has DNA, still has carbohydrates, and transformation still happened. The mouse died. The dead bad bacteria turn it and the live harmless bacteria combined to make a live deadly bacteria or yeah bacteria so he knew okay it's not protein okay so he keeps moving down the row right does RNA so he takes RNA ace and that takes RNA out when he takes RNA out still happens it turns into the deadly bacteria kills the mouse so it's not RNA okay uh, you know, went down here to carbohydrate, ACE, okay, that's the, that's the enzyme that takes carbohydrates out, DNA, RNA, protein, lipids all present, transformation still happens, it can't be that, and so really the one that he thought it probably wouldn't be was DNA, but he's like, okay, so he takes the DNA ACE, the enzyme that takes away DNA, and he takes that away, and he injects it in the mouse, and this time, the mouse lives. No transformation happens. And so he realizes that DNA must be the genetic molecule, that all the other ones are not the genetic molecule. Lipids aren't, proteins aren't, RNAs not, carbohydrates aren't. It's DNA. DNA is... Uh, the thing that is transferring the genetic material from the dead harmful bacteria to the live harmless bacteria, turning it into the dead, the deadly bacteria. I don't know if I said that well, but anyway. And so Oswald goes, huh, it's DNA. Would never have thought that. And uh, he was right. It was DNA. But, as you're going to see in the next video, this was by no means um, accepted as absolute truth. And we're, but, but this was the first time people went, DNA, really? DNA? And so they knew DNA existed, but they had no idea what it did. Oswald Avery, Avery, go with Avery, not Oswald. Avery showed pretty convincingly that DNA really was the molecule because only when it was removed did transformation stop. Otherwise, it all kept going. Okay, uh, that's it. If you have questions, let me know in class. Otherwise, uh, you can move on to Hershey and Chase. Wonderful video. All right, peace out.